In this tutorial, I'll show you how to write a script that allows you to change the colour of an object. One of the sources for code for the basic manipulation of materials was this post at Blender Artists. I'll put a link to it at my website. The listing gives two ways of creating new materials, but more about that in the tutorial. Change the layout to scripting. Click the new button for a new script. Import BPY to use the Blender API. Click the Material Properties button and click the Unlink button to unlink the default material from the cube. One way of finding out the code for creating a new material is to right click on the New Material button copy the Python command and paste it into a script. Blender uses an operator to create a new material. I'm going to use the other method that doesn't use an operator. The advantage being that in one line we name the new material and get a pointer to the new material so we can access its properties and methods. Delete the operators method and run the script and we get a new material whose name property is red and all the other properties are set to default values. Right click on the diffuse color and copy data path and paste the property into the script. It is a property of the material matte red and set the red value to 0 0.8, the green value to 0 and the blue value to 0. Now when we run the script it appears as though nothing has happened but a new material has been created. Because there is already a material with the name red, it has been called red.001 and its diffuse color has been set to red. If I click the minus sign to remove the material from the list of materials linked to the object and run the script, a new red material is made but it's not linked to the object. Before we can link the material to the object, we need a link to the object or to the object's data. For mesh objects, the material links to the underlying mesh. Now we have a pointer to the object, we can make a link to the material. And when we run the script, the new material is linked to the active object. But if I change the color and run the script, the new material is second on the list of materials linked to the object. To guarantee that it is first on the list, we need to clear the list first. Now when we run the script, the object will turn red. I want to set up a system where there is a list of standard colours and all objects are set to one of the colours. I'm going to add a property to all objects to store the color. The property is of type enum. If we go to the Blender website and look at the documentation for the properties module, properties of type enum are used for lists of items and the example they give is for a list of colors. Scroll down to see the full documentation for the enum property. Essential to enum properties is the list of items. All items must have at least three elements, an identifier, a name and a description. The name of the property, like the name of the elements, is used if the property is displayed in a panel. The default is the value the property will be set to for new objects. 
update gives the name of the function that will be called when the value of the property changes and I'll look at that next in the finished script. Here in the finished script is where we add the set color property. This is the name of the function that is called when the color changes and here is the definition of the function. So what does the function do? First it gets a link to the object you want to change the color of. If the object is not none, it gets a link to the object's underlying mesh. It then clears any links between the mesh and materials. Then if the color red is selected, the red material is linked to the mesh. If the color green is selected, the green material is linked to the mesh and so on. The remainder of the script is taken from one of the Python templates, UI panel simple. Instead of displaying the name property of the object, I've changed it to display the set color property. Now when we run the script, we can change the property and the update function changes the material linked to the object. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file and the finished script for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.